Hello and welcome to Raid Live and I hope everybody who is watching this is having an awesome day. Me, I'm doing good man, no complaints whatsoever. Now I do have some red hot news for you today and our first topic of the video is K Koza's video that is breaking the internet. So Kings of Joburg actor SK Koza is no stranger to controversy and every time he makes the headlines or the trends, it seems like it is all for the wrong reasons. Now he has found himself on that trending list following a vow video of him giving oral sex to a mystery woman now the actor is trending number one on twitter currently and i will say this i definitely have watched that particular video and you know what i'm gonna say today is a glorious day to have some data heck it's a glorious day to have data and some electricity I mean, ladies, do get in the comment section down below if you have seen it. What do you guys think about that particular video? And uh, I suppose SK causes eating skills. Guys, if you have some pointers or tips, also get in the comment section down below and let us know how you like to eat, I suppose. This is getting very explicit real quick. So moving swiftly along, social media does seem to be going crazy over the actor's, I suppose, sex tape, which of course has got a lot of people on social media a little bit concerned about SK Koza because lately he has been trending for all the wrong reasons. Look, I don't want to go back to that video, but when he stares at the camera and you see him all sweating and all of that stuff, yeah, and then the girl kind of just pulls his head back. Oh, God. Focus, focus, red light, focus. So right now, it is currently unclear who leaked the video online. So taking a look at some of the reactions on social media, one user wrote, Momozi was nothing before meeting the brand SK Corsa. <laughs> Another user wrote, SK must continue disappointing these women who have a crush on him until they realize that there is only one celebrity crush in this country and that is me. Another user wrote, I see why Koko Maweni was mad when SK Koza left her. Um, I, I don't see. I mean, can someone enlighten me as to why was Koko Maweni mad? Another user wrote, open Twitter to see SK Koza looking at me dead in the eyes while his hands are in. That's enough Twitter for one day. <laughs> yeah, he does like stare straight into the camera. Another user wrote SK Koza is always trending for the wrong reasons, destroying his reputation and career. Another user wrote SK Koza should just open an OnlyFans account. I swear he will make more money than he does good acting. <laughs> well, uh, another user wrote SK Koza joins OnlyFans. So according to Musa Kaula, he's actually opened up an OnlyFans account. So who knows, uh, he might end up making more money than he does acting after all. But moving right along, another user wrote breaking news SK Koza summoned before the Kosa Men Association's Integrity Commission. We are taken aback uh, as the association, e visual, a sibonile yoga SK Koza, a busy, a take up, wilungu langa sese, a court. And because of that, we have decided to summon him uh, before the Integrity Commission of Ikosa Men Association explain himself because we took a resolution by a court to land. <laughs> what? They took a resolution to go to court. When was this? Uh, but you know what? I'm Zulu, so moving right along. But you know, you have to go to the court and you have to go to the court and you have to go to the court. You have to go to the court and you have to go to the court. You have to go to the court and you have to go and we, 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 have, we have been noticing and observing his behavior recently. And it is bringing this association and the manhood into disrepute. <laughs> Look, there's never a dull moment on social media, especially Twitter. And Siafuna Geoba, I can't explain before we take any further actions. But Sasimi, Lesata, you call to a land because you are Malek, what a gap, um, Dan, as he has Baufuna still, but get Sauvacui. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, according to the Kosa Men's Association Integrity Commission, I caught a layout. Like I said, I'm Zulu, I caught. But moving right along, another user wrote, he meant this, SK Koza. Let me play that clip for you guys real quick. Still one of my favorite moments in The Queen, by the way. Big mama, 
umumbi une khale ikhulu namadleba makhulu ezilonga uzune momozi ngiyahlaba mina ngisho bana beans manje ngisayidlale lona lalelanike noko bomama valelani into mzenu nangoku ushaka usefikile uyafithinza awu kubeka umuntu wami kubeka wethe njalo Ah, I swear this video clip gets me every time. And lastly, another user wrote, This is SK Koza. SK Koza does not suffer from the Batu Batlo Ring syndrome. Be like SK Koza. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, again, get in the comment section down below and let me know what you guys think about SK Koza's video that is breaking the internet right now. Now, before Ningxi and your quarter, please do me a huge favor. If you do enjoy the content here on Red Live, do give this video a huge thumbs up. It does help out a lot. And also, if you are new to the channel and haven't subscribed, do hit that red subscribe button and hit the bell notification to be notified of future uploads. Our next topic, Tamiya Mpisane silences haters after Stello's allegations against Andile Mpisane. So Tamiya Mpisane decided to silence trolls on her Instagram who flooded her Instagram comment section with nasty comments that were directed at her and her husband Andile Mpisane. Now this follows yesterday when Durban-based DJ Sitelo Shozi exposed her former lover and baby daddy Andile Mpisane for allegedly abusing her. Now Sitelo says that she allegedly suffered various forms of abuse from Andile including verbal and physical abuse. Now Sitelo shared screenshots of private messages between between her and Andile where he apparently makes threats and it seems as though they are headed to court in Peter Maritzburg. Now we did do a whole video about it, it's actually the previous video so if you do want to watch that video. But yeah, soon after Stello revealed those shocking claims and allegations, Tami Mpisane shared a video of herself rocking some Prada and used her husband Andy Mpisane's new song titled Makwapeni as the audio. Now, as you would imagine, her comment section was bombarded with hurtful comments. Again, people saying that she too should watch out that uh, what happened to Stello could happen to her as well. Others advised her to get out as soon as she can before it's too late. But it seems like Tamiya was not really having any of that as she turned off her comments in that particular video. So it seems like the trolls have been silenced. Our next topic, Berita sets the record straight on Nota Beloy on an Instagram space. Afro soul singer Berita has revealed that she has separated from controversial music executive Nota Beloy after being dragged for being married to him and being silent when her husband publicly attacked other women. Now we did do a video in which she shared on a Twitter thread that she left her marital home on the 13th of January 2022. She also said that she had been quiet because this involves their families. But she did insist in those threads that Nota needs help with his mental health and that she tried her best to help him. Now, according to a Chissa Live article, Nota did come through and say that he believes that she did not write those particular tweets and she believes that her manager or former manager is behind all those tweets. Well, like I said, Barita joined a space and addressed all of those particular issues. So let's take a listen to that particular space. Hello. Um, obviously, I saw there was a space earlier um, and I know the things that some of the things he said things like things that are not true so i thought you know i see people there are some people on twitter that are like oh this is a publicity stunt or whatever this is not a publicity stunt since january i've been dealing with this man and don't say anything and i tried i tried to not say anything uh, but it got to a point where Yesterday, when I saw the video of him talking about another woman, I don't even want to repeat the things he said. That for me was a red flag, not a red flag. It was the, 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 the final straw of I have to say something. There has been many things that he has um. done. So I'm just trying to explain that the final straw in our home because you know happened a long time ago but the final straw publicly happened when i saw this video i saw yesterday and for me i have a song about gender-based violence i have an ngo that helps women in the music industry i have done tours and spoken to children spoken to young girls and i never in my life 
ever thought that I would find myself in this position. And this is not a position that I thrive in, that I can say I, cre- I create from a place of goodness. That's why all my music is about love. So I thought that let me come here and just say, guys, I'm alive. I am strong. This is not the end of me. And I'm going to go on to do greater and greater things. And I am just praying and hoping that that man receive the help I deny. Whether it's psychiatric, whether I'm a lozy, whether Ujesu, he needs help. That's all I wanted to say. Yes, uh, I don't know if I'm audible now, but uh, I want to get to Eric. And Eric, do we have anything to, to say? Uh, since Berita is also here, obviously you guys are close friends. So do you have anything you'd like to say? I actually, I'm sorry, Eric, <laughs> before we I want to actually say something. You know, the most difficult thing about the situation that I'm in is that the people that are the closest to me are the people that have been hurt the most. They are the people that have been attacked the most. Because as Njenga Manje, I've blocked him everywhere. He doesn't have access to me at all. So as a result, that's why you would see him attacking someone like Eric, um, who has worked tirelessly with me, and other people and other family members of mine that he has attacked privately. And since Peritamos, you are aware that he accused Eric of putting out the series of tweets that were put out from your page this morning, ne? I heard Ndivile, and that is not true. I tweeted those tweets in the morning. In fact, I watched the video yake Izolo and I was, I was emotionally overcome to the point of and at around five. I treated those. I don't even like, and I'm not even in the same vicinity as Eric for him to blame Eric for Indonga Yenzanga. And this is in typical fashion of what he does. Everything. That's what I've come to learn about him. And uh, I'm sure you will hear the recordings after S Space ne, from the first one. So, Kuchonga Pakle Page Kamosa. If anything, we use a in in his favor because uh Ukwas Lenos control his space because U Eric Ungene by surprise ne engam linde lang. Wang no Eric Watindo ba I am the supposed uh, former PR Caperita. He tried to give his side of the story, but Kangam in a pleasure because Ute Kumosa and Tiso sends space unless if I'm a co-host and I need to have a power on who speaks or who doesn't. If umdu out of pocket, diam kupa kwa space, which is ge nyanke uisebense in his favor. Ubasi jonganzulu. Unga dilu Eric wakwa zuz tetela. Unga dilu because I mean, I have evidence of him as I have evidence on my WhatsApp of him admitting that he said those things to spite me because I went to that event. And as a result for him to spite me, he will go to my closest people and try to destroy him. Uh, Eric? Hi, I'm still here. I think, guys, that was so important to me that we got off the record. Um, how far he would go. But I think, just as a black person, when you go to the extent of you play with such big brands, the company I work for has so much weight, and we are as it not what he was doing. And it's just so unfortunate that Uberita and myself have a very, like, like-minded heads will be like every time and time again and we're just like let's leave it and let's try and rise above it but it just gets to a point where to a point where like it's nothing to him it's just another day on social media feed off of this kind of stuff this kind of traffic and unfortunately, Tina, Asijali, Nagakulu, Kanjalo, in those spaces, we're very private people. And Babega Mangati, this was have been carried out privately. Uh, 
uh, as I said, to go to me, I don't have uh, a lot of word to say, except that I uh, appreciate you, Barry, coming here to to what to speak for yourself, basically, because the narrative that was being driven and it was so going to happen that that's the narrative that most people were going to go with because uh, Nota was working tirelessly into making sure that at least uh, a percentage of us would want to side with him and want to believe what he was saying till okay, Eric came on and he clarified the things that he clarified. But I'm also glad. I know that you're not a big social media person. I'm just grateful that you could come out and also stand your ground. So if uh, if you'd like to say, conclude, you don't have to conclude. Just say what you need. If they more, then we can close the space because we're not equal. I think for me, my closing words are going to be um, people always say it's difficult to leave a situation. And I want to clarify that man has never put laid a hand on my, on my body or anything like that. But um, to try abusive when there is zinto, as in Zubana, when emotionally and psychologically, unga be stable. And when someone does things like that, it's very difficult to bana upume glow situation because one umchato is not the kind of thing that you just walk out of. Um, nango fufun again explain a family. Number two, I've always been um to who thrives on on doing good work i do not wish at any moment to be involved and involved but if anything if there is another woman who's going through what i'm going through who decides nam sanje ndiyo bana if u perita wa pagisha wa hamba nam dia pagisha ne hamba and katal baban baza utini i hope bana at least that would be the reason why what's happening in my life right now is happening because two years ago, when I was still working with Eric, we did a song called Ungandi Bulali for SAPC. We did an entire campaign with SAPC. That song was number one on radio in December. I call it normally go December, Ili Piano Ogani, a house song that is number one on radio. But our song was number one because we were spreading a message, Eti, don't turn a blind eye against a gender-based violence. And I realized now when I did that song that I didn't know what I was talking about. I had never been through that situation whereby Umdu, who is trying to control you, he will go to a family member, he or she, because there are also women that do it. Now, what my experience in the past six months has been in Diobana, um, this person wanted to isolate me, but be isolated. Umdu, who's close to me, I created enough reasonable doubt. Ubana magasuke kum M7 Zinuam Dinga Pukish and Dinga Tini because there's in, in, enough doubt to say Bana no, let's actually get somebody else. And it actually has happened. Even within my family, it has happened. And I knew into Obana taking this thing to to social media. He's going to I'm not surprised by the civil narrative that he was creating. I knew that he's going to try and come up with a narrative because what he's trying to do is just create in, create enough doubt. And I even saw someone that was saying, but but publicly. At this point, for me, it is not even a fight. It is not even a fight. It's just me saying, I've been bullied for an entire year. Every time he says something, and I needed for me because in the 10 years in the seven are building my brand one block at a time. I'm an independent artist. I own my own music. I produce some of my own music. Everything that I've built, I built it one brick at a time. For, for something like this to come and just wipe the entire wall that I've built, it's important to ban this tetele for me so that I can be able to go through this thing. And also for me to know that end of your abuse is a very sensitive issue. There are so many women but it's not that because you want to 
it's because uku situation that you are trying to maneuver us and nakuko and so tlo ngibana abantu ba glow buti bandi yake ndahamba nje bayalwa abafuni in if it were according to them i would actually sell but life doesn't work like that so the situation in the goya i think more than anything i just want to thank you all for the support um i just want to say if there's any woman that's going through what i'm going through if there's any man that's going through what i'm, I'm going through if there's any he or she or they or them that's going through what i'm going through i'm just hoping for healing in the situation So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, there you have heard Berita talking for herself on an Instagram space. One cannot claim that she was hacked or anything like that, I suppose. So yes, that is the end of the news. Now, please do me a huge favor. If you did enjoy the video, please share it with your family, your friends, and your enemies. Confuse the hell out of everybody. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Ray Live if you haven't. And binge watch my previous videos.